How you doing, man? Thanks so much for being a part of 212 Athlete. Um, we are we're going to start out by getting into the lower half. And as, as he squats into this back half, he's not squatting as much as he could. Um, and that's that's really leaving a lot on the table. It's about 124 degrees into that back leg. So I want this back leg to squat longer, and I want his butt to go back in this direction. Um, it's, he's going to have to build up strength in it. Uh, running's going to help. Squatting's going to help. Um, anything he can do. Now, as he goes forward, you can see his heel come up, his back heel. And I want you to pay close attention to that because his heel should be firmly on the ground. And that's why he's probably not able to squat for a longer period of time. So I really want him to, to get into that back heel to squat better. So let, that, that leads us into our front front leg. So as he, as he plants into that front leg, it's what we call an internally rotated front, front knee. Um, and what that means is he's going to have to get his knee over his ankle in order for his back hips to rotate. So his back hip rotates only when his knee gets over his ankle. So if, if he can plant open, basically his knee is going to have to rotate, externally rotate back to that line earlier. He's going to be able to step straighter. So I want him to step straighter. He's also not stepping very long. And that, that extension, that's a double leg um, at plant leg, that power to the back leg is going to be crucial in, do, in, in helping him drive further off the rubber. Um, but that front knee is really not helping. So it, it's a combination of both. Yes, he's got to squat. Power to the back leg has got to be better. He's also got to extend further out, but his also his front knee is catching um, and doesn't allow him to, to rotate his back hip faster. So three, three big, big, big weaknesses in the, in the lower body that are going to help um, with everything else. Um, everything is, else is going to get better. So um, let's get into posture at ball release. So he's what we call a – he he's close to a B. Um, you might even be an A a little bit. But what that means is he's coming up in this direction right here, and he's having to change his head – quite drastically to get into that position what i'd like him to do is have his upper body i know this is kind of unconventional but that's why we get results um the upper body needs to be back a little bit and so he needs to basically have his upper body sit back this way um in the in that in that direction toward his back foot basically his head is going to be over that back rubber for a longer period of time and once he once he does that he's going to be able to squat better he's going to be able to extend his back leg extend like to drive better off the back leg um and his posture is going to be better into release point so he's he's a b posture just remember that that's his arm slot i don't want anyone changing him because that's who he is okay um so right here this is what we call a that was the wrong one. We're going to take a measurement off both of his his shoulders. We're going to measure out to the elbow. So right here we have a little bit of a let's see here, little bit of an uh, of a high elbow. What that means is back here, I don't really see his back his back shoulder. So if his back shoulder, um, his throwing side was pinched for a longer period of time I'd be able to see that and because it's not pinched well his elbows kind of rotating up it's what we what we call an elevated distal humerus or, or an elevated elbow so he has a high elbow issue which correlates on our online program that will help run through those drills um, and, and that should um, dissipate it should it should decrease um, the elevation of the elbow but I really think that a lot of it has to do with his his back leg driving and he's not he's not going this way he's not driving towards the target and you can see kind of he's he's rotating out of that instead of rotating to his target um 
Now you see his back leg kind of rotate out and around. I'd like his hip to, his front knee is going to come back this way. It's going to straighten out. And his hip should rotate through and his back leg should pop up. So it should should pop up like that. Um, box drill one, box drill two. Um, will help out of that walking torques, uh, walking wind-ups. That should all help out of his back leg. So um, that that's going to help a ton. Let's get in the front glove. The front glove, he's really actually doing a good job. So I, I have no issues with the front glove. It's pretty pretty good. But his, his chest extension, he's got to have better chest extension. And the reason why his chest extension isn't as good as it should be is his front knee, that internally rotated front knee, is affecting that upper body. Um, and that's what we need to do um, is get him right on track and help him to be able to do that, um, get that front knee properly um, placed, and then he's going to be able to drive that chest through it. Um, so chest extension, just to go through it, power of the back leg, Double leg extension um, at, at, at plant foot, um, internally rotated front knee, a um, little bit of an ele- elevated elbow, um, chest extension needs work, and also his front knee. Last thing I got for you is his his hand goes directly outside of that elbow. So this is maximum layback here, and then all of a sudden his wrist goes way outside. I want to reduce that. Um, I'm not going to say we're going to turn him into a robot, but but I just want to reduce that maybe maybe around here. So he's because so if he would if he would have dr- driven through with his wrist, gotten that wrist through instead of going around, the ball would have come out already. So instead of going around, we'd like him to go through and minimize that as much as as much as he can. So all in all, pretty good, man. Pretty good. There's some small things. He's a, he's an athlete. There's some small things he's got to adjust on. But but if we can fix those, power to the back leg, double angle, internally rotated front knee, high elbow, chest extension, and arm fly out. Um, and just remember where his posture is. I think that's going to help a ton. So do about four or five drills per day uh, for the throwing. Pick one weakness at a time. And when you can use one weakness at a time, he's going to get better. Start on his lower body first and then work to his upper body weaknesses. You can also coordinate days where you could do a lower body day. You could do an upper body day. You could do a stationary drills day. You could do a momentum drills day. Um, it just depends on what you – just just switch it up and, and make it fun. Um, get into the arm care with the bands and the balls and the weighted balls. Um, do all the arm care as prescribed on there. And um, anyway, thanks so much. Feel free to call me or text me if you need anything. Uh, Talk to you soon.